Hello, this is Dragafon, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a player. Um, and if I have time, I'm going to show you how to uh, add some movement to that player. So I'm going to start out by creating, oh, and I'm using Game Maker HTML5, as you can clearly see right here. And we're going to do this using only, uh, using mostly GML. We're not going to use the drag and drop uh, very much, except for ex selecting the execute code part. I'm going to go ahead and name this uh, game. Completely original, I know. Let's see here. All right. First thing we need to do is create a sprite. You can either do that by right-clicking on the sprite folder here, and, uh, going to create sprite, or clicking on the Pac-Man icon. I usually just click the icon. I'm going to name this sprite Sprite Player. Player. Yeah. Okay. Edit the sprite. Click this paper with a plus icon in the upper right hand corner. That will add a new uh, tile. Since I'm ex the default size is 32 by 32 pixels, but I'm too lazy to draw that many. Uh, pixels. Um, so I make this 50%, dropping it down to 16 by 16 pixels. That's what I usually do with most of my sprites. And by most, I mean all. Um, make this uh, unnecessarily large by clicking the plus sign, and then I love to see the grid to know where I'm putting my pixels. Like that see where I'm putting my pixels but in this case I'm just gonna draw a circle so this is obnoxiously large and unnecessarily so and I'm gonna draw the circle click the erase tool erase these corners because they don't look very circle-y and it's got sharp point and since this is a player I'm gonna add some eyeballs here one two three Four. We'll add an eyeball here. One, two, three, four. Add an eyeball here. And there you go. It's a top down view of a player uh, looking to the right. Next, I'm going to uh, center this because there are mul multiple ways of doing movement. You can um, like add to the x value and the y value to make a move up, down, left, and right. Um, or you can make him like turn and rotate and follow your cursor. Um, but I'm gonna s and uh, I'm gonna make him follow my pointer when I push uh, forward. Um, so I'm gonna make all of his motion relative to where my pointer is at. I'm going to center this because I am going to also have him rotating and I want him to be rotating around his center and not the uh, top left corner of his sprite. I don't want him to be running in a circle, I want him to be turning. Okay, I'm going to click OK and I'm going to create a new object by clicking this sphere icon here. Name it OBJ Playa. Sprite player. And then we're going to add a new event. Uh, you're going to need three events. Um, it'll be the create event, the step event, and the draw event. I'm going to create the create event first. Set the control. I'm just going to make sure that he is pointing in the correct direction. Direction is a uh, preset variable in the program. So, and it uh, control it, it uh, equals the value of where your object is pointing. So it's pretty useful. Very useful. Oh, let's see here. So I want him to be pointing 
in the direction with this lovely function called point direction. Hmm? I think yours. Yeah, they're dirty. Oh, okay. So I'm, wait this... I'm waiting for some laundry soap to be purchased. Cause, or I'll gotten... put some down there. So the stuff yours? I took out of the dryer, those are yours? Yeah, those are clean. Those are, you got a lot of, I'm going to let you bring that one up. Okay. Because there's lots of clothes. All right. Those are clean. Yep. The sand's going to be hot in both dryers in about 20 minutes. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. So anyway, um, point direction. I'm going to make him point towards the mouse. So first coordinate will be his coordinate. And the coordinate to which he is pointing will be the mouse. Mouse X, mouse Y, and parentheses. That's it for the create event for now. And we're going to add a draw event. Draw. And once again, put some code in here. Now I'm going to have to draw the sprite since I put the draw event here. So I'm drawing the sprite. It's going to be SPR player. And then sub image will be zero because I only have one sub image. X, the Y, will remain the same. And actually, I used the wrong function, but the function I wanted is draw sprite EXT, which I believe stands for extended just has some extra stuff to specify here. Scale is uh, like if you want him to be larger you could put two here and that would make him the sprite twice as large um, as what it is. But I want it to remain the same. So I'm going to put one, one. And then the rotation is where the action is. I want him to point towards the mouse, remember? I'm going to use that point direction function again. X, Y, mouse, X, mouse, Y. Okay. And then next, uh, I'm specifying the color and this is, uh, if you put white here, it won't change the color of the sprite, and which is what I want in this situation. Um, but if you wanted to maybe make your sprite green, you could put uh, green here, and um, it would just, it would color him green, or it would add green to his color. So if he was red, he would probably become yellow because you're adding green to red. And then for the alpha, that's just transparency. So I'm going to put one to make him opaque, solid, um, not see-through at all. Zero would be completely invisible, and um, any decimal value would be uh, semi-transparent. So 0.5 would be 50% transparent. 0.25 would be 75% uh, transparent. So I'm going to make this one because I want him to be visible. All right. And it looks like I'm approaching the 10 minute mark here. So I'm going to, we'll go ahead and test this, see how it looks. Um, in order to test something, you need to create a room because otherwise, there's nowhere for anything to happen. So let's see how. All right. First, I'm going to OK this. That way, it changes the name over here. And I will put the object player 
right here in the room. And let's see how that looks. All right, and there's the player right here. And as you can see, he is following my mouse. He's rotating to look directly at me. And that's exactly what I wanted. Alrighty. Well, that's it. Thank you for watching. And uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.